My name is Paige. Welcome back to another video. I am so glad you're here. a lot to do while I'm here so I couldn't not vlog for you guys my commute to the office is about 20 to 24 minutes so I have a lot to do this week in LA from a lot of stuff in the office a lot of samples to approve I have an interview this morning it's a very very exciting interview um, which I could probably share more about later. We are hiring for a very big position and then we are in the final developmental process for a ton of products that we're launching this summer. So I need to approve a bunch of samples of products that we're launching. Our new intern, who I've met like on Zoom and on our weekly touch bases. I haven't met her in person yet. So I'm really, really looking forward to meeting her. And then I have some stuff to do this week also in LA with just like my brand stuff. My next trip after this one, I'm going home first and then I'm going to the F1 race in Miami. I have some paid partnership stuff there or otherwise I probably wouldn't be going, but I am excited to be going. Obviously very grateful to get tickets and, and do the whole thing with F1, but yeah. I wouldn't be going back to Florida. Um, I spent a lot of time in Florida. But this week I'm gonna be trying out a stylist. So they're gonna be styling me for F1, which I'm very excited about, so I have to do that for a meeting. I have some photos that I have to take this week for some press-related stuff. And then I have a bachelorette trip this weekend. My friend Emma, who a lot of you guys might know, has her bachelorette trip this weekend. So I'm gonna be going to celebrate her. And then I'm actually leaving, I think, LA on Sunday. So I'm not gonna be there for the full festival, but I'm gonna be there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and leaving probably Saturday night. A lot going on. I'm, I'm not burnt out yet. So fingers crossed that that can continue. <laughs> But anyways, gonna get to work and I will see you guys in the office. sample meeting of a fit sample model that tries on everything that we have and then we kind of like fit it to her um, take in the garment in areas and just like make sure it's perfect before placing the order right now we're doing the fit samples of a bunch of stuff for the summer so it's very very exciting I can't show you guys everything but I'll show you as much as I can Just leaving the office now. We had a very, very productive day. Hello. Hey, still your sweater. Hey, love. Ooh. You? Were these in my kitchen? Yeah. Love.
It's in fish mode. Amanda's vlogging. Yes, like, subscribe, comment. <laughs> so tell me what's next. I look really scary boots. <laughs> you don't look scary boots. Um, <laughs> so Amanda and I are just running some errands. We just went to Zara and um, Sephora. I absolutely ate at Zara. Like got the yeah, sickest shit. We hold the cameras, we're about to fucking go flying. Yo. Guys, look at my cheetah pants. Cheetah pants. My cheetah pantalons. I am really excited for you. I got a ton of shit from both places. I'm very excited about it. A lot of the stuff I got at Zara is gonna be more like a European vibration. Tour. <laughs> on her European tour. On my European tour. Oh, red light. Boop. Oopsies. I need stuff at CVS. I got a headache. Mm -hmm. Off to Trashy Lingerie. Another store. Um, I actually remember this store because this is where the Kardashians just get their Halloween costumes. Wait, it's the best. It's like the it's best. It's really expensive. I'm yeah, kidding. it is. Wait, wait, wait. I'm like not even putting the directions in. Um, but yeah, we're running to Trashy Lingerie in Las in I said Las Vegas. When? What the fuck? Mm -hmm. In in LA, there's this store that is a lingerie store, but it's also sort of like a costumey store. They have a lot of like handmade lingerie and like vintage stuff. And I haven't been in like three years, but it's really cute. Last time I went, so. We are looking for stuff for stage coach. Also guys, I convinced Amanda to come with me to LA, so. She had an enticing offer. I did. <laughs> I did have an enticing offer. We're gonna go to Matsu tonight for dinner too. I'm very excited. What do they have? Like what would I like? Do you like sushi? Yes. They have really good sushi. I like their udon noodles and their salad and yep. their crispy rice. Yep, sold. Their crispy rice eats. Oh my god. Ah. Yeah, yeah. I need it right now. It's really, really good. We could go, <laughs> but I need a fucking sweater. Fucking, good, why didn't you buy a sweater at the store? Shut up. Okay, Trashy Lingerie understood the leopard assignment. Wait, that fucking eats. Need. Eating, they're all eating, slaying. All right, just got back from our errands. I'm gonna do a whole haul for you guys tomorrow. I think of, I got a ton of PR, like so much. And um, I'm gonna do a haul of my Sephora stuff and my Zara stuff tomorrow. But we're just gonna run to dinner now because it's getting late. We're gonna go to Matsu and get some sushi. Amanda's never been to Matsu, so I'm really excited. I'm literally wearing slippers and this fleece it's pretty chilly here in LA so we're gonna go run and then probably just gonna like wind down and shower because I have another day in the office tomorrow good morning vlog I just got all ready for the day. We're gonna go to Air One to get breakfast first, and then we're gonna head to the office. I think Amanda's gonna come with me today to the office. But before I go, I wanted to show you guys some of the gifting I got. Too Faced sent a bunch of stuff. I'm doing something very exciting with Too Faced soon. Their beauty sent a bunch of blushes. I actually took one out. <laughs> so they sent me, I think, all their bestseller liquid blushes, which are so cute. Happy is one of my favorite. Frankie's bikini sent a bunch of really cute stuff. It's kind of a mess. It was organized a second ago. Kate Spade, Orem, I think sent more. Um, Orem sent, I think, some belts. Vanessa Mooney, Lioness, I need to shoot this actually today, I think. I have a brand deal with Lancome, so that's what that's about. Orby sent a bunch of stuff. Nylon Magazine sent this cool cover and Road sent me their starter kit skincare. I actually used all the products today underneath my makeup and I really, really like the skincare. So, so yeah, we're gonna head to Erwan now and then another day in the office. Good morning, love. <laughs> clap, everyone, clap. Pretty early. I woke up at 7.30, but it doesn't count because I'm on East Coast time. But like, this is a really big sleigh. It is a really big never sleigh. That early. Never. We're going to Air One. Amanda needs to try the... Miss Bieber smoothie. Miss Bieber smoothie. And then I'm forcing Amanda to come to the office with me. Not forcing. Just a slight <laughs> push. Uh, is it right here? 
Yeah, you can just valet right there. First of all, actually, uh, this company, this oh, is not, tired. me too. This company sent these drinks to my office. This is not an ad. They are so delicious. Bubbler, it tastes like a Shirley Temple, but with caffeine in it. Okay guys, we're going into the thrift store to find some jean shorts. For stagecoach. For stagecoach or some other vibe. Because I might need like three vibes. You do. <sighs> it's so stressful. I'm just making a big salad. In the building that I live in, there's a um, whole outdoor patio situation with grills. So I'm going to grill up there. I invited some of my friends, so we're just gonna do a little bit of grilling. Excited for that, I'm just making like a cabbage lemon situation. It's this really simple cabbage salad that I've been eating a lot of recently. It's Amanda and Maya's new hyper fixation. It's just cabbage with lemon juice, some grated garlic, Dijon, honey or agave, salt, pepper, white, a little bit of white vinegar, and then some apple cider vinegar. Honestly, just sort of like a classic salad dressing, the lemon salad dressing. <laughs> Okay guys, heading to the office now. It's been a really, really great week in the office. I sort of hinted at it on my Instagram already, but we are doing another New York City pop-up in August, right before the US Open. It was just so incredible. Last year, just the turnout, the people, the whole thing was just very important for my brand and for me and our team. So we're doing it again. It's gonna be bigger and better and we're gonna have a lot more products and clothes and just really cool special pieces. So we're sort of finalizing that in the office. A pop-up like this takes so much planning and thought and we really just wanna make it as special as possible for you guys. Some people flew in from like all over last year. So now that we sort of know what to expect, we're gonna be doing that for you guys in a bigger way. And I'm just really, really excited about it. I'm gonna move you guys over here, I think. Something about my industry that I'm learning, especially as someone who didn't study fashion in school or how the clothing manufacturing industry works is that we are planning drops, getting samples for products months in advance. This week we've literally been talking and planning um, for holiday and for the winter. And there are so many samples that we're getting in of things that I like cannot share because obviously I want there to be an element of surprise, but it's really hard to like see these products that I love and that I'm so proud of that I can't share until later, like months. Um, and I just want to share it and I literally just want to drop it. Like there are so many things that I'm so excited about that I can't like do anything about. Um, so I'm just gonna have to get used to that um, element of owning a clothing brand. Also the respect that I've gained for other brands because they literally have to be planning out and predicting trends so far in advance unless you're Zara um, and literally own planes to 
make goods and can turn around a garment in three weeks, which is absolutely crazy. A lot of brands have to sort of like predict trends and it's very fascinating. Luckily with Dairy Boy, I would say we're just really doing like the things that we love and sticking to the brand's identity, which is sort of this like vintage, one of a kind, feminine but masculine. That's like our brand identity and that's not really gonna change. Like we're never gonna be a Zara and we're never gonna be making products that, like we're not gonna be constantly reinventing ourselves. Dairy Boy products are always gonna be very Dairy Boy, so therefore we don't really have to like predict trends. But we do sort of have to predict like what am I gonna want in the winter, you know? Because everything we make is really centered around like things all the girls in the office like want and would want to wear and things we think like could exist in a better way because ultimately like everything's been done. Like every product and clothing that we make, like there's gonna be another version of it, but we wanna make sure that it's very Dairy Boy and one of a kind feeling. It's funny, I was talking to my team this week about how if I wanted to shop the sort of like aesthetic that is the brand and like what I think my style is, it's very hard to find and there's not like a new brand that is this sort of what Dairy Boy is. There's not another brand that's making products like that. So it's very exciting for us because we feel like there's this like lane to create very like cute, feminine but masculine sort of vintage feeling clothes and just all the things that we're gonna make. We feel like we can really do it in our own way. But that being said, we're making all of these products and we're just like, I want this stuff out now. And we can't do it that way. So, but anyways, I will see you guys in the office.